Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and on this video, I'll be reviewing the Nano Robot D6 Plus electric scooter. Nano Robot had sent me the D6 Plus about three weeks ago. It came in a pretty large box, and it was really easy to set it up. It took about five to ten minutes for me and my friend Mark to get it ready to rock. Inside the box, besides the manual, they have the courtesy of including mud guards, an air pump and some nice tools. Well, let's start with the design of the D6 Plus. It looks very sporty and a bit aggressive. We have C-type hydraulic dual shock suspension, all-terrain 10-inch wheels, a very large and comfortable deck and a foldable handle, so it's easy for transportation. It's a bit on the heavy side and it can barely fit in the trunk of my Honda Civic, but it fits nonetheless. You got to love the lights on the D6 Plus. They're all around, bright and very well designed. You can control all the lights from the handle as well as the hooter and the gears. There is a little LED screen on the right that indicates the speed and other helpful information about your rides. When it comes to performance, this thing is an absolute beast. It's powered by two 1000 watts brushless drive that give you a top speed of 40 miles per hour. The acceleration is impressive, fast with turbo on and it doesn't slow down on hills. I am a pretty heavy rider at a bit over 200 pounds. This scooter carry me around like I'm featherweight. Either you are in the city or in off-road trails, riding the Z6 Plus is always fun. There is dual disc brakes with EBS, so it's not just fun, but it's also safe. A little tip, if you're riding in the city, you can disable the EBS for a smoother braking experience. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. The battery is a 52 volt lithium ion capable of a tough range of 45 miles. Of course, that might depend on your weight and the way you ride. It takes about 10 hours to fully charge, so I just plug it when I go to sleep and the next day it's ready. But if you are in a rush, there is an option for a dual charger that cuts the charging time in half. If you are considering this e-scooter as your first one, there is an eco mode and single drive system which makes accelerating really smooth and very easy for beginners to learn how to ride before you jump into turbo and dual drive. To be honest, I'm not very experienced with e-scooters, yet it was very easy for me to get into it. I was riding in turbo mode from day one. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I review plenty of electric skateboards and e-bikes. And I got to say, I'm not an expert rider when it comes to e-scooters, but my friend Monkey is. He used to race in a circuit back in the day, so I'll let him tell you what he thinks of the Nan Robot D6 Plus. Hey guys, Monkey here. You guys have seen me before on Gabby's videos with the skateboards and stuff. I went out with him today and rode the Nan Robot D6 Plus. And I used to race gas scooters in America, uh, some of the direct drive and the centrifugal clutch ones. And the gas ones, their acceleration isn't bad, but it is nothing compared to this Nan Robot scooter. The torque and the acceleration is really great on this thing. Now, I used to race track and circuit, you know, and on the street with the scooters there. And I've done various off-road excursions too with these things. And this thing is an all-round great scooter, man. It's, it's amazing for off-road. I've jumped a few staircases, climbed down some stairs with it, gone up and down curbs, you know, so uh, pop some wheelies. Getting the gearing figured out for the wheelies was a little tricky, but popping wheelies and doing stoppies and it was really fun riding this thing. It's just an all around great fun ride. And it's, it's not like a pro, board, uh, pro scooter or anything like that. I think anyone could jump on this thing and ride it. It's very comfortable and very easy to use. It's not really technical. You don't have to be a professional or anything like that to ride it. You know, it was great going off road, um, putting on the dual drive and then climbing up some hills. And you know, the handling is great and the suspension works very well for off road and doesn't jolt you everywhere. So it's very, very comfortable to ride. 
Okay, guys, uh, I think that's all I have to say about it. I'm gonna send it back to Gabby. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. As usual, links in the description down below. This is Gabby from Ray Studios, and I'll catch you up in the next video.